disco. It ain't no country club either. stay with action between the foul lines but you'll be reading about whatever it is there was a lot of smoke that suddenly came into the ballpark now off the third base side the people seem to be comfortably ensconced but off the first base side that's where all the smoke is and the people at that area are leaving I assume they've been asked to leave maybe to take other seats one and two the cause of whatever produced all the smoke, we have no idea. One and two, the so count to I Casey Blake. I say D O D O D D O D G D O D G E R S team 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 O. I say O M O M A O M A L. 
O M A L L E Y. Oh, really? No, O'Malley. Sandy Colfax, oh, my drives there, Maury Wills. I love you so, and we defy, defy the J I, J I N, J I N T, J I N T S, Giants, Lebanon, Orlando, Cepeda. He's at bat with the bases jammed. Orlando Cepeda with a wham, bam. He hit a grand slam in the very first inning, but it's only the beginning. In the third, like a bird, we get to one and away. Then fairly hits into a double play. Here comes Big Frank Howard, yes siree. Boy, what a swing! Strike three. O dem B, O dem B U, B U M, B U M S, them bums, them bums, them dry bums. Oh, they may be bums, but they're my bums. Top of the fifth, say hey Willie Mays hits a three bagger down the right field line, but he's out trying to stretch it to a homer as Rose Burrow tags him on the bottom of the spine with the crack you can hear all the way back up to San Francisco. Open your hospitals! Tommy. <laughs> Tommy. Who's starting in the field? Monday in right field. Monday, go out to right field. Who's in center field? Daryl Strawberry. Left field. Uh, let me see if I can read this. Kenny Landro takes the field. Who will be behind home plate? One of the greatest catchers in the history of the game, Steve Yeager. What about the infield, Tommy? <laughs> the infield? No, no, Tommy. Who do you want to play the infield? There's only one group that can be playing, and this is There they are. Eight and a half years they played together. They won many of the games and championships, world championships. The infield of Garvey, Lopes, Russell, and Say. Good luck, guys. Good luck, Billy. Небо цвета стали, листьев чарный лес. Мы идем гулять зимний день, и я замерз. Было бы теплее. Это был Лос-Анджелес Калифорния снится А пока мы в сугробах до небес Церковь я нашел На своем пути На колени пал Yes. 
talking to the umpires and now we have visible proof the rain has arrived 17 rain outs at Dodger Stadium the last one was in 2000 in April against Houston looks like hail but I'm sure it's just raindrops bouncing around on the dugout roof. Ah, uh, the bubble. It's that time of game where you start watching bubbles. Jackie comes to bat, the other team is through. Did you see Jackie Robinson hit that ball? Did he hit it? Yes, and that ain't all. He's so old. Yes, yes, Jackie's real gone. hard to figure out and in doing a little research about why and how Friday the 13th became such a superstition you have to go back maybe to an 1869 biography of a musician where they referred to it as a bad day the pitch to AJ is low in numerology the number 12 is considered completeness you know 12 months of the year 12 hours on the clock 12 gods of Olympus, 12 tribes of Israel, the 12 apostles of Jesus, the 12 successes of Muhammad in Shia Islam, 12 signs of the Zodiac for that matter as well. The 2-2 two -two pitch on the way is inside ball three. The number 13, however, is considered irregular. You might not know it, I never did. 
in Spanish speaking countries, instead of Friday, Tuesday the 13th is considered a day of bad luck. Tuesday the 13th. Never knew that. Throw to first, not in time. Vance like diving back. And they tell me the Greeks also considered Tuesday, especially the 13th, as an unlucky day. They said it was dominated by the influence of Aras, the god of war. Three and two the count. Runner goes, pitch is high for ball four. So there'll be two on with one out. As A.J. Ellis trots to first, Van Slyke advances to second, and Mark Ellis will be coming up. You know, another interesting note about it, while we're waiting for a little action, in Italian popular culture, Friday the 17th is a bad day. In Italy, 13 is generally considered a lucky number. So take your pick. They also did a survey out of North Carolina, and they said anywhere from 17 to 21 million people in the United States are frightened to death about Friday the 13th. All right, here's Mark Ellis. Fortunately, where's 14? And Mark swings, fouls it back, and the count 0 and 1. Of course, we were talking before about religion and the Jewish faith. Friday, not necessarily the 13th, but the day Christ was crucified and will forever remembered on Good Friday. Oh, and one, the count to Mark Ellis. He takes in the dirt. I'm not trying to get smart. Just looked it up, figuring a lot of you folks might find it a little interesting. Like you, I'd be lost without Google. I'm not trying to show off, but I just found it a little interesting. And one last thought, some of the famous people who died on Friday the 13th, like here in Hollywood, Richard Zanuck, the wonderful chef, Julia Child. 1-1 one, one pitch, ground ball up along third, foul ball, no play. So Mark will have to come back and try it again. Tupac Shakur died. Benny Goodman died on Friday the 13th. Hubert Humphrey, the senator from Minnesota. The writer, Mickey Spillane. The singer, Lily Pond. Diamond Jim Brady, you might have heard of that name. Okay, I quit. I promise no more. Yeah, there goes, if you're watching on TV, there goes number 13. Hanley Ramirez. 